Hello YouTube and welcome to new text loss video. I finally got the brand new Huawei MateBook X Pro. This is the second generation of the Huawei MateBook X. It was already presented earlier this year at the MWC in Barcelona and now I got my test sample. And let's have a quick look around the box. The box looks like um, normal. We got the Intel Inside logo on top. This is the version with the i7. Uh, Dolby Atmos speakers and we got the Huawei logo on top. Yes, you can feel the writing. If we turn the box over, we don't get much information. So we only see Thunderbolt logo. We don't see, we see made in China. And we get, oh, on top of here we see color space gray, ZPU is the i7 um, with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. So this is the middle version of the uh, MateBook X Pro. So there's the entry level version with the i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD. Uh, starting price 1500 euros for 200 euros more. You get twice the storage, 512 gigabytes, and you get the i7. And for another 100 euros, you get twice the RAM, so 16 gigabyte instead of 8. Now we open it up. Oh, and every version, and who it lifts. Can you see this? Let's open it up again. Uh, there you can see the box is lifting the MateBook X out of the box. Nice. So we get this and every all three versions of the MateBook X come with a built in uh, NVIDIA MX150 with two gigabytes of RAM. This is nice. And so there we go. We got some writing which we don't care about. Let's open. Whoa. Oh, there you can see the NVIDIA GeForce logo, the Windows logo, and down here, this definitely looks really familiar. Of course, the design looks a little bit of a combination out of a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air. On the left side, we still get our headphone jack. We got a USB Type-C port, with this also for charging. We got the Thunderbolt 3 port. I still think we got two Thunderbolt 3 ports on the left side. Nothing on the front. And on the right side, we get a normal HD, uh, not HDMI, normal USB Type A port, and that's it. No HDMI, no micro SD, nothing at all, only two USB Type C ports and one USB Type A and the headphone jack, which is plenty, I guess. Oh, wait, 1.3 kilograms. So this is the same uh, weight. Uh, like like a MacBook Pro, but I have to say because of this uh, of the form of the design, uh, this feels a little slimmer. It feels uh, it's like more like a MacBook Air. So vents are down here on the top, uh, and we got two speakers. Of course, the Dolby Atmos speakers. At least this is what Huawei is advertising. Uh, let's check out what else is in the box before we start with the Mac. Ma I always want to say MacBook, but this MateBook. We get the charger in the color white so we got the space gray oh and keep that in mind they also call the color space gray here so what a resemblance we get one white charger usb european plug usb type c only one usb type c they would have have enough room for another port here and we got an output of maximum 5 volt 3.25 ampere which should sum up to 65 watt then we got what else do we got in the box here of course we need still need a, a cable so there we go we get our white cable with a white charger usb type c to usb type c then there is also an adapter in the box. This is nice. Big thumbs up to Huawei for giving you an adapter within the box. So you can make out of one USB type C or one of the Thunderbolt 3 ports. You get an additional USB type A port. You get another USB type C port so that you don't lose one. And you get HDMI and also VGH, uh, which, which, which is okay. So you still keep, this is a nice adapter. Maybe you could, I uh, wished for, for some like, something like a micro SD or SD card reader instead of the VGA port, but it all, oh, I, I get it. That's still built in the VGA port. I personally would have liked an SD reader much more, but still, so you don't actually use the USB type C port. You still keep one and you get one, two, three ports additionally and one thing is missing no there are no stickers within the box we get the warranty guide 
and we get our quick start guide here with a lot of text an explanation on how the adapter works and how to turn on the device how to charge the matebooks and what do all the buttons do so this is that now finally let's start opening the matebook x and there we go now we get another screen here giving us some hints where to start the device where's the webcam because still the webcam is down here in the middle between f6 and f7 we get this additional button where's only the webcam is hidden so now let's turn the device on uh, right top we see two leds we got background uh, uh, lightning on the keyboard and in the on off switch or button we also got a touch id or fingerprint sensor so then the keyboard does not bend. of course it bends if i push really hard on it but normal chiclet keys nice size yes nice clicking sounds not too too loud in my opinion uh, nice feeling yes definitely a nice keyboard we get this big trackpad and there's one thing you can't do shouldn't don't, don't forget um, we also got a touch screen the resolution of the screen is 3000 by 2000 so it's three by two and let's turn off the brightness so oh, let me change the viewing angle there we go this is around 40 percent 50 percent 100 percent of brightness which should, looks nice let's see here yes we definitely got the touch screen here uh, let's head over into system informations where you can only see oh, let's turn off the, the brightness a little bit that we got the eight gigabytes of ram the i7 85502 uh, u and let's see storage so this is out of the box storage we got 95 percent uh, 95 gigabytes on the c partition which is uh, still around 50 85 uh, 48 gigabytes of free storage and we got another 381 gigabytes on the other partition so out of the they just um, sliced the one the 512 gigabytes not in half but into 90 or 95 and 381 so you still can use out of the box 428 gigabytes of storage so this is nice so we got the touch screen which looks awesome and it's i wouldn't call this borderless or unlimited or infinity display or anything like like other companies do but this is definitely a nice looking screen uh, what about pre-installed apps uh, we got a lot of our normal games some couple of games but nothing fancy here no only the normal windows stuff and an additional PC manager. I guess this is from Huawei itself to help you with updates, to check the hardware, maybe to use my cloud, <laughs> maybe for the Huawei services. But this is it. This is the new Huawei Mate Book X Pro, so second generation of this device. And I have to say, yes, definitely one of the notebooks i'm looking forward to check out i hear a lot of us testers are already saying this is the best windows laptop ever made with last year's version i had some problems because of heat because of the battery life and i'm now looking forward to checking this device out and maybe this will be a nice alternative to our standard dell xps notebooks or uh, lenovo x1 carbons or anything like that and maybe this is also an alternative for people that usually use mac big max books because of the hardware because of the build quality but maybe they wished for a windows device and but of course i will check this out in the next couple of weeks after this uh, we will speak again and no this is not you can't bend the display all the way back no only this is the maximum viewing angle you get but this is it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye